Welcome back, everyone. Toysh is here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another news update. The Hasbro Pulse Transformers team took to their YouTube channel this morning to talk about Transformers. I know, mind-blowing, right? But we had Ben from marketing, and then joined by Isabella and Mark. Mark, who's like the greatest guy ever, right? Just that voice alone. He's just, he's so stoked about Transformers, and through that, I get stoked about Transformers. Even Transformers that I don't even want, I get stoked about them. So, we're going to jump right into it, but before we do, I just want to let you know that these all will be, except for the very last one, these all will be Walmart exclusive. They will go up for pre-order in July, around July 21st, because it's for the Walmart Collector Con. So, I will have links around that time. It's CollectorCon. It's going to kind of tie into San Diego Comic Con. I'm sure Target's going to do a con. It's going to be an expensive month of July. It's it's just the new collector month, right? Where everything and anything unleashes for Comic Con. So to jump right into it, we're going to be getting brand new Transformers Ducks action figures, right? I know everyone's clamoring for these. These are those tubs things, right? I have zero interest, to be quite honest with you, but uh, they're so dopey, I had to show them off, right? So you got Optimus Prime as a duck and Megatron as a duck. Whatever, right? All right, to jump into it. So the new subline of Transformers Legacy will be called Velocitron, which is a planet in, in Transformers lore from like IDW and whatnot. But... This is Velocitron Speedia 500 series. And what they're kind of doing is saying it's a big race around the planet. Who will be the victor? Who will rule Velocitron? So the first figure for the deluxe class will be... Blur! Gotta get those micro machines! Micro machines! Micro machines! <laughs> you know how that voice goes, right? So he's going to be packaged along with all the other figures in this particular line in car mode, it's meant to invoke the old G1 nostalgia there. This blur is a little bit updated from the Transformers 86 because they'll have a new IDW head portrait. It's got more of that muted blue tone. One thing they did point out, and it's something that I actually almost had happen to me. When this new packaging, you know, this one's more of like kind of like an open box. They have closed boxes. Just Transformers, Marvel Legends, anything Hasbro from now on. Make sure that you pull out every single piece and accessory because they wrap it in tissue. And I've heard a lot of people say, oh my God, I totally threw that away. And I almost did it the other day, I swear to God, with, uh, what was it, Perceptor, right? So just be careful because it, it wasn't wrapped in anything. It was just kind of twisty tied to the side. So be careful. Watch out for your Transformers weapons when you're going for this new uh, packaging, right? So, nice overall, but yes, look for the Blur pre-order in and around, let's say July 21st for Walmart Collector Con. Next up is Burnout. Now, she is an homage to the Diaclone Black Skids figure. She's got a tinted roof. This is one of those things where they pointed out, and I'm like, uh, well, okay. Yeah, you know, I mean, you kind of have to go like, well, they don't really do that anymore. So I guess if anything, that, that works. Her wheels are sculpted and painted to look like rubber. They're not rubber. They're made to look like rubber. So if anything, I mean, I guess that's something. Transformers have changed so much over the years. So to have that, I guess that's a, that's a cool little update in, in so many ways. But uh, yeah, car mode, vehicle mode, robot mode, whatever you want to call it. She looks good. And uh, the boxes look solid as well. Next up is Road Rocket. She's the motorcycle for the race, right? Redeco of RC. She comes with her Shuriken Star. She's got a brand new head portrait. She's got a blue metallic and red paint scheme. Very cool looking motorcycle. So again, part of the Velocitron series. You can grab her. Come around July. And then you got Clamp Down. He's... The Cybertronian police car, of course. They have their own police force. Very Diaclone inspired. Mark, like I said, when you hear him talk about Transformers, when you see the passion of Transformers in his voice, and don't get me wrong, I mean, like, Ben as well. Ben is more of the, like, like he's, like, cool about it. You know, Mark's just like, let's freaking do it. I love it. It's a, it's a nice dichotomy, right? So, with this clampdown figure, he's got his blaster, he's got... The whole smoked out windshield thing. He's a Red Alert Earthrise repaint. 
And just like all the others, yeah, you can grab him for pre-order in around July. But this one right here, this is the one where I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm totally going to grab him. So this is interesting. In kind of keeping with the motif, the storyline of a race on Velocitron, you have Cosmos. G1 Cosmos, to be exact, which looks amazing. He's a little spaceship guy. So he comes with the checkered flag, right? He's kind of like the Lakitu of the uh, Mario Kart Velocitron race, so he'll be waving the flag. All the characters can hold it. That's actually cool as well. Here he is in robot mode. Mark showing him off in comparison to the previously released Cosmos. He's a huge figure. He's gonna fit in great. I'm very excited. Cosmos for the win. That's the one that I will definitely be grabbing. But they don't just have deluxe figures. We also got some Voyager class. So a very Constructicon green road hauler will be uh, joining the line. Looking pretty snazzy, right? Very cool. This is a repaint of the the one that I have. <laughs> In so many ways, I know that I have this figure. That's how Transformers kind of go for me these days. I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the red one, right? With the hook hand or whatever. Hook shot. Hook something like hook. Is it hook? I forget. Anyways, you can help me out down in the comments below. But uh, yeah, very nice. That's some G1, very cool green Transformer action. And then you have a brand new mold, the leader of Velocitron. We have Override. Now, I can't tell you I know much about this figure, but I like her color scheme and I like the way she looks. Very cool, interesting. If I do see this, I might pick her up. It's, it's one of those where it's like, uh, you know, I'm trying to really stick with Transformers 86, of which they didn't reveal anything. So I was like, oh, good, solid. I'll just get Cosmos and be done. But uh, yeah, we have Override. She looks great. Nice deco to her. I got to give it to them all day. But now you got the Deluxe, you got the Voyagers. You're going to have to have a leader scale. And I think, uh, you know, they made the joke. Hey, everybody knew this was going to happen. I knew this was going to happen. You're going to have to get Scourge or Black Convoy or whatever you want to call them, right? Evil Optimus clone, Optimus Prime. Pick, take your pick. It doesn't matter at this point. But he's a Laser Optimus Prime repainted. He's got the teal. He's got that pinkish red color Scourge, baby. My favorite Scourge is, uh, what is it, Transformers Robots in Disguise or Car Robots, however that was. I really like that. I have that. I got to pull out all those figures, man. That was a wild, wild show. Let me know in the comments if you like me. I'm going to talk about Transformers Animated coming up soon. But uh, let me know if you want me to do Robots in Disguise, too. That was a great... It wasn't a great show. I like Sky by You know what? I'm totally going off the rails here. Let's get back to Transformers, because they're bringing back Transformers Red as well. So the newest wave will see the Seeker Thundercracker make his debut. So it's basically a Starscream repaint. These don't transform, just FYI. If you're interested, I did take a look at the Super 7 Transformers Ultimates figures and kind of how these match up bash together i wish you could bash the two together to be uh, quite honest with you oh and one more thing with all the other hasbro products recently these will now become closed box figures on one hand i'm like cool great for the environment on the other i'm like it's going to be a feeding frenzy of people just doing shady stuff right we all know how this is gonna go god yeah not looking forward to that continuing on with transformers red we have the transformers prime universe getting optimus prime it looks pretty cool. This is one where I'm like, cool, total skip for me. I'm just not a fan of Transformers Prime. I'm sure if you're out there, very nice. But uh, there's only so many Transformer properties you could get into. And he's going to have the Matrix of Leadership. And the chest is going to open. And that's what he should be doing. He can hold it. Comes with an extra head portrait. A few other surprise weapons and accessories. You can kind of see it on the side of the box. So, yeah, you could definitely grab the Transformers Prime, Optimus Prime, along with... Megatron, every good prime needs a Megatron, a very jagged, kind of Michael Bay Megatron design, you know what I mean? I've seen this guy a hundred times looking for Dark Energon, comes with the Dark Energon accessory, right? Threw that one in there, big, bulky, menacing, I wonder how they're going to fit him in this box, right? Unless he's like smaller, so that's what I mean, scale-wise, we don't really know. They never put them next to each other until you get them home. Wonder if that's intentional. Ah, wink, wink. Oh, and uh, Transformers team, if you're listening, here's my suggestion for a really cool Transformers red figure: Spike Wit Wiki, human, right? Do some kind of thing with Marvel Legends. Put him in the box. That would be awesome. And his old G1, you know, construction worker digs. You're welcome. Now, here's the one that's uh, the main exception. If you're into this, this is going to be a Hasbro Pulse exclusive. This is the Shattered Glass slicer 
right? Of course, you got like everything's like flipped in this particular universe. I haven't been collecting these. They look cool. I have thought about getting that Ultra Magnus though with the skull face. That that's actually right up my alley. I, might, I forgot all about that. I got to I got to get that one. That's the one I'm going to get. But in the meantime, yes, you could get Slicer. You can use his weaponizers. He's got a big huge Black Zarek attachment, accessory, all that kind of stuff. It's basically two figures in one. So if you need them, you can go over the Hasbro Pulse today, in fact, depending on when you see this video. But uh, yeah, June 23rd, 1 p.m. for you uh, Heidi Toity Hasbro Pulse Premium members and 2 p.m. for all the other peasants out there like me. I don't subscribe to the uh, premium membership. So that's going to wrap it up for my look at the brand new Transformers reveals today. Thanks again to Ben, Isabella, and Mark for taking us through that. And as always, you've heard my thoughts. Now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything Transformers. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, uh, you know, it, eventually if you do more Transformers 86 figures, I wouldn't mind that. Sludge is coming out, right? You got uh, Spike, Witwicky, whatnot. I'll be fine in the meantime. And when I do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.